TikTok has launched a new fact-checked science feed. It aims to meet the rising demand for content related to science, technology, engineering and maths while curbing the spread of misinformation. Imogen Wells caught up with one of the Kiwi content creators involved. Sometimes I forget that cool science is all around us. So I have to do things like this to remind myself. Morgan McKean's got a passion for all things science. Today we're using oranges to help us visualise the Earth's crust being broken into tectonic plates. Today I am attempting to make bioplastic. The Kiwi primary school teacher started posting the videos she was creating for her students in lockdown to TikTok in case any other youngsters were interested in her experiments. And I really made a point of using materials and things that the kids could access because obviously in the lockdown they couldn't go out to find things. So today we're going to be blowing up a balloon using science. Fast forward to today and she has more than 245,000 followers and almost 17 million likes. And for me as a teacher that was really exciting to see that not only could I be working with my students in my school environment but I could actually you know, be interacting and working with um, students and young people nationally and on a global scale. Now she's one of more than 8,000 creators worldwide along with 64 other Kiwis contributing to a new fact-checked TikTok feed for all things STEM. That's content related to science, technology, engineering and maths which TikTok says has seen a 35% growth that it has a, a triple layer fact checking behind it so that misinformation isn't within the feed. I think it's really important that people are engaging with content that is accurate. As you can see, there's a really exciting reaction happening here between the baking soda and the vinegar. When someone like Morgan uploads a STEM related video, TikTok gets it verified by two independent organisations before it's added to the feed. I think it's it's really important that, that, that we see these kind of initiatives go alongside a channel such as this. But of course the initiative doesn't capture every video uploaded. I'm going to show you a nutrition hack that is going to save your life. For example, a recent study by Dublin City University found just 2.1% of the nutrition content analysed was accurate when compared to public health guidelines. The basis is for that, so I think where there are opportunities to, to check something is definitively right or wrong and opinions are behind it, then that's the kind of transparency that I think we should all be looking for from the, from the sources of media that, that we choose to engage with online. On Wednesday, reps from TikTok are meeting with Shane Reti to discuss the new feed. The technology minister telling 3 News the government has a clear focus in promoting STEM as a critical area of development for our economy. We are inspiring the next generation of scientists and engineers. So it's very important. And there we have it. That inspiration is factually correct.